Welcome back to the Network Essential series. In this video, we'll talk about firewall and what it's used for. In computing, a firewall is a network's security system or service that monitors incoming and outgoing communication traffic, also known as packets, based on pre-configured rules. So a firewall is like a set of rules that either permits or denies access to data or devices from different networks. Think of firewalls as airport checkpoints. Before you're allowed to take off, you must go through several checkpoints to ensure you have all the necessary documents and are not carrying anything you're not allowed to. If everything is fine, you may get on the plane. However, if you don't meet the security regulations at any of the checkpoints, airport security won't let you board the plane. That's basically what a firewall does. But to understand the firewall even better, we need to get a more technical perspective. Let's go back and talk about these pre-configured rules in more depth. When configuring a firewall, you may encounter predefined groups of rules known as chains. Usually, there are three standard chains – input, output, and forward. These chains define what your network's firewall will do with incoming and outgoing packets. The input chain deals with incoming traffic traveling to the router. The output chain handles outgoing traffic from the router. And last but not least, the forward chain administers incoming or outgoing packets that pass through the router and between locally set networks. So, to protect your router and the network from cyber attacks or threats, you'll create specific rules for each chain. These rules determine how your firewall will deal with incoming and outgoing communication traffic. There are three primary actions your firewall is able to perform. It can accept, drop or reject an incoming or outgoing packet. Accepting allows outgoing traffic from your local network or incoming traffic from the Internet to reach its predetermined destination. Dropping and rejecting are actually very similar to one another. The only difference is that by performing the reject action, the firewall notifies the packet sender that connection or data retrieval is impossible. Dropping simply blocks the request without notifications. When configuring your firewall, you can set separate zones for every locally available network to further heighten the overall management and control capabilities of any desired interface. These zones dictate what traffic should be allowed depending on the trust level you have on your network. In other words, by using firewall zones, you can control what behavior a firewall should permit or deny to a group of listed networks. If there is a strain network that doesn't belong to any particular firewall zone, its chain rules will be the ones that go by default. We hope the firewall and its functions are clearer now. If you'd like to know more about Network Essentials, check out our channel for more educational content and don't forget to subscribe!